Welcome to Illuminati Silver. We tell you the truth about silver. Today is Sunday the 12th of June 2016 and we're providing our gold and silver update for the week ending the 10th of June. Gold rose in US dollar terms last week by $30 from 1,244 to $1,274 an ounce, having it hit a high of 1,277 and a low of 1,235. In sterling terms, gold rose by 36 pounds, and in euros, it rose by 37 euros. Silver rose by 93 cents, from $16.41 to $17.34, having reached a high of 17.37 and a low of 16.21. In sterling terms, it rose by 85 pence, and in euros, it rose by 0.97 euros. The gold to silver ratio fell from 75.8 to 1 to 73.4 to 1. The Dow Jones closed on Friday at 17,865. That's down 119 points on the day, but up 58 points on the week. And the Nasdaq closed at 4,894, down 64 for the day, and down 48 points on the week. Brent crude was up 90 cents at $50.54 and US light crude was up 45 cents at $49.07. The dollar index stands at 94.57. That's up 0.54 on the week. Safe haven buying helped drive August COMEX gold to a three-week high on Friday, putting it on track for a second straight weekly rise. The initial catalysts behind the rally were the weaker than expected US non-farm payrolls report on June the 3rd and dovish comments from Fed Chair Janet Yellen early last week, which dimmed hopes for an imminent rise in US interest rates. Prices were also supported and driven higher by worries over Britain's June the 23rd referendum, which will decide whether the UK remains a member of the European Union or leaves. This factor may continue to support gold over the next two weeks. If the Fed refrains from raising rates in June, which we believe it will, and strongly hints that a July rate hike is off the table too, then that should support gold also because the dollar would weaken. Silver markets broke higher during the course of the week, clearing the top of the hammer we mentioned from the previous week. This market looks as if it's reaching towards the $18 level, and it would not be a surprise if it did actually touch that level. We in our last report stated that the past week would give us an indication of market trend and response to the poor US employment data, as well as the build-up to the Brexit vote, which is now less than two weeks away. The uncertainty over Brexit will undoubtedly keep gold bubbling away, certainly in sterling and euro terms, as both are likely to fall should a Brexit actually occur. What is interesting is that the price of gold and silver rose, and so did the dollar index, which is just a point short of that 95 level we believe the authorities wish to keep the dollar just below. We can therefore envisage the next two weeks being stronger for gold and silver, benefiting on the back of it. Therefore, we may indeed see new yearly highs for the metals though we have to admit that there is considerable resistance just above the 1300 level for gold and the $18 level for silver. We hope you have found this video interesting and informative, and if so, please give it a thumb up and share it on Twitter. Also, kindly visit our website at www.illuminatisilver.com and look at our Facebook page, which is updated daily at www.facebook.com forward slash Illuminati Silver. Disclaimer. Illuminati Silver owners come from a background of banking, international wealth management and economics. Having now retired from these worlds, we're not qualified to give investment advice. Therefore, this and other productions must not be deemed to be giving such advice and merely represent the personal views of its own.